Oh, hello, my name is Hamid Razapur. I'm from Orinda, California. Uh, I had a question about real estate. And I know this question was asked in previous shareholder meetings about um, how come Berkshire doesn't invest in real estate. And I believe the answer was that we like operating business. So I want to make my question a little bit more specific towards commercial real estate. So uh, considering the characteristics of larger size commercial real estate investments like REITs that can uh, have the behavior and financial returns of an operating business, why not invest in real estate? Uh, is it because you just don't like the returns or the business is just not attractive? Yeah, well, Charlie got to start in real estate, right, Charlie? Yeah, I would say, number one, that in a corporation like Berkshire that's taxable under subchapter C of the Internal Revenue Code, owning real estate is grossly disadvantaged compared to owning it directly by individuals such as yourself. That's number one. And number two, real estate, investment real estate is having bubble valuation problems of its own right now. Uh, all my rich friends who own real estate are selling their worst properties and they're getting bids that come in higher than their highest expectations and people are competing to take these things off their hands. Uh, I do not find it exciting and it certainly doesn't fit Berkshire. Name me a lot of C corporations that have been passive holders in real estate and have done well over a whole lot of years. It's almost a null class. Yeah, Charlie and I, I mean, both, more Charlie than, than I, uh, we've had certain personal real estate investments over time. And, it, it, you know, it's a field that, in general, we understand. We don't bring that much special to the game, but we, we understand it. We've made money in it. And uh, actually, at the time that the NASDAQ about hit its high, uh, REITs were quite cheap, in my view, and I, I would I have a less than one percent of my net worth outside of Berkshire. But basically, I had a, I had that portion all in REITs. They're all small ones at that time, and and but they were selling at discounts. At that time, they were selling at discounts to the values of properties, and those values of properties were much more conservatively figured than today. Today, you have uh, very fancy prices on on uh, real estate. And on top of that, you have the REITs uh, often selling at a premium. Though. So I regard REITs as quite unattractive now, certainly compared to five or six years ago. Uh, but that's, an ass that, that's a group of so securities. that's for an individual you regard them as unattractive. Yeah. And for a corporation, that much more so. Yeah, right, right. Uh, uh, the situation changed dramatically from five or six years ago. I mean, the stock market, in many respects, from the 1999-2000 period is down significantly. REITs are up significantly. REITs were very unpopular five or six years ago. Now they're popular. And it's 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 better to pay attention to something that is being scorned than something that's being being championed. And, and the, there's really been a big change in the REIT situation in the last five or six years. And the REITs have phony accounting. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we love them. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to bring up anything in these meetings. <laughs> Number nine.